wonders shall never end, like Nigerians say. So the former um, Prime Minister of Baloseland was uh, on Damon TV to uh, read out his resignation letter because he was uh, serving as a member in the Teaching Service Commission. So now he's here to read out a, a resignation letter to President HH and the reason is stated in the letter. So first in the meantime, let's, let's hear well, what is contained in the letter. Then after that, I've got some comments to make on this matter. A uh, point of correction, I'm not the current Prime Minister of Barossaland, but I'm the former Prime Minister of Barossaland. Uh, that's why I've come here. Uh, but currently, I am a member of the Teaching Safes Commission until this moment. The reason why I have come here is uh, just uh, to read to you a short letter that I have written as a result of a certain issue, which you can together hear from me. Um, 5th February 2024, Mr. Haka Indehichema, the President of the Republic of, of Zambia, State House Lusaka, Zambia, Your Excellency, Re resignation as a member of the Teaching Saves Commission. Following your statement, which you issued when you were addressing the permanent secretaries for the Republic of Zambia on the 18th of January at Mulungushi Conference Center, in which you said, and I quote, P.S. Akapewa. There is uh, no country called Western Province or Barossaland. End of quote. I had to ponder and wait to hear whether you would be remorseful enough to apologize to the Litunga, the Kuta, and indeed the people of Barossaland. But alas, I haven't heard anything to that effect. I consider this as being disrespectful to the Ritunga, to the Kuta, and the people of Barossaland. As a result of this, I have today, the 5th of February 2024, decided to resign from your government as a commissioner from the Teaching Safes Commission and to go back to my people and the country, Barossaland, with immediate effect. I Clement W. Sininda, would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve as a member of the Teaching Saves Commission until today. That is in my short statement, but I would like to issue some advice uh, to the people of Zambia, to the government of Zambia, and it, even to you as journalists. My appeal to all the people of Zambia is that uh, the issue of Barossaland is a very sensitive issue. And therefore, I'm appealing earnestly and honestly, let nobody discuss this, this issue anyhow, because it has the potential of causing a lot of uh, tension uh, within us. So I appeal that is my appeal to you all, not to mention because um, for your own information, uh, I, Clement W. Sininda, uh, is former um, Prime Minister of, 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 of Barossaland, but since the day uh, the President commented on this issue on the 18th of, of January, I have been very quiet. I had even switched off my phones. Many people could not uh, access me. Why? Because I felt it is not good to comment anyhow on this issue. So kindly take this information, this, especially this piece of advice, to, the, to all the people of Zambia. Let us not comment anyhow on the, point, on, on the issue of Barossaland. Why? Because it is sensitive. I hope. I have delivered this message. Thank you very much, young ladies and gentlemen. So now you see how serious uh, they are taking this issue. You see how personal they are taking this uh, Barotseland issue. So because of because the president said that there is no country called Barotseland, they were 
offenders, they felt offended. In my honest opinion, I don't see anything wrong with what the president said. Because what the president said is a fact. There is no country called Balosaland. If you like go on Google and search country called Balosaland, there is no country called Balosaland. And even prior to the uh, uh, you know the, the unification of Balosaland and Northern Rhodesia to be to become Zambia. Uh, Balosaland existed as a kingdom. It was a kingdom, it was never a country. Balosaland has never been a country since the start of time, since God created this earth, since we we, we I mean we moved to that region, since our ancestors moved to Zambia. Balosaland has never, has never been a country. It was a lot, it was a lousy kingdom, wasn't it? Or unless maybe the history we learned is not true. It existed as, as a kingdom. That's what we were taught in school. It was a kingdom. So what is so uh, uh, annoying about the president said that there is no country called Balotseland? So in my in my opinion, th this matter just needs to be resolved as quickly as possible, because in as much as as some people think it's a very simple issue, it has got the potential to incite even violence. It has got the potential to disturb peace and unity that is going on in the country. So. I just wish the government can just step in and bring the, 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 the leaders, bring call the Litunga, you know, and talk this thing through and just come to, you know, an understanding and put this thing behind. So, like I said in one of my videos on how to, you know, end this issue of um, Balosaland, you know, people from Balosaland wanting to break away, uh, how to end this issue of people complaining that there is um, less development in their area because we know one of the reasons why they are even uh, asking for this session is because they feel there hasn't been you know much development within the Balosaran region. So for me, the best way to eradicate this to eradicate this problem is um, through changing our governance system. Like Zambia should maybe change to the federal type of governance, whereby each province, each region should vote for its. Prime Minister, just like the way it is in the U.S. or in uh, countries like Nigeria, you know, like if, if we have a federal type of government, it would be like the money, let's say the money that is made maybe in the Copper Belt cannot be used to go and develop Lusaka or Wapula or Chipata. The money made in the Copper Belt will be used to develop the Copper Belt. The money made in Wapula will be used to, make, to develop Wapula. So even when you look at the Balotsaland region, uh, it would simply mean that the money made within that region will be used to develop that region. So that way, nobody can complain. And the people within that region are the ones that are voting for their prime minister. So if there is something wrong, there is no way they will go and blame Zambia as a country. That that's why they are not developing. They will just go and blame the people that they appointed in, in office. Because whatever monies that are made from the resources from that area are, are just made or used to develop that area. So I think that is one of the fastest ways to eradicate this problem. And of course, yeah, I understand it's a valid point. Because there are some places in Zambia that are not well developed like for example if some of you that have been to Sulawesi you can agree with me that Sulawesi right now has like the biggest mines in the country that are generating money for the country the most uh, and they are doing very well but there is very little development in Sulawesi there is just one main tarot road the whole of Sulawesi and that road was even just made by the by the PF not so long ago it was made by the PF like was it around 2017 years somewhere there and you can imagine how many years has it been since Zambia gained independence how many billions of dollars have been made from Sulawesi so I think if maybe if Zambia just changed its governance system to a federal type of governance uh, we will not even see some of these issues even coming up in the first place so anyway let me know what you think about this video and what you think about you know in general the the letter that he wrote to the president and if you're not subscribed to this channel please Subscribe and leave a like for the algorithm and also turn on the notification bell.